Hello and welcome to the Schmitzek Company. We are an EMS service providers. My name is Frederick Pader. I work in the logistics department and I am mainly responsible for picking. Due to the rapid growth over recent years, we had to think about how to create new capacities at some point. We either hired new employees or automated our order picking. Before we had the dry tower, we sorted, handled and retrieved all reels manually. In comparison, it is of course much easier today. We have a very wide range of components and very small batch sizes. This means that with the dry tower we handle around 4,000 reels per day. These are mainly open reels which are stored and issued to complement any new full reels from the main warehouse to complete the works order to the lines. In the past, we put these reels back into stock by hand, sort them numerically into boxes and remove them from storage in the same way, which took a lot of time. The dry tower saves us a lot of time when it comes to handling the reels. The dry tower has made our work much easier, as it has a capacity of 12,000 reels. These are only our open reels, we also have full reels that have to be commissioned. So approximately 80% of the components are issued by the dry tower. This means that the operators only have to collect 20% of full reels from the main warehouse. Any open reels left over from production are then returned to the dry tower. So we count it, store it, and as soon as the reel is in the dry tower, it's available for the next order. We have completely automated the handling of moisture-sensitive components with the dry tower. This means that as soon as a reel is in the dry tower, the open time is stopped. And as soon as the reel comes out again, the FLT clock is started again. Each reel has a certain period of time before the FLT runs out. This means that the system automatically detects whether the time has expired or not, and then packs it into the reset area or into the normal storage area, which is continuously dry and stores the reels at 35 degrees Celsius and below 5% humidity. We have set up the dry tower so that we could expand it in the future. The goal is to eventually store all our reeled components in the dry tower.